I'm back, y'all. You already know this your girl, Heavy C. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this is going to be the emergency read for the next 24 hours, all right? Remember, this read is general. If this is not your situation, do not try to make this fit, all right? Let's jump right in because I got a couple of messages I want to get out first. Um, In the next 24 hours, all right, some... It's going to be some type of sad moment. Um, this is definitely warning you. All right. I'm warning you that it's going to be a moment of where you just may feel fucked up. All right. Um, just very sad. Okay. To the point where your ass is crying. All right. So I don't know what's going to happen. It could be involving a particular person. You may hear some type of news. And it's just, it's like, uh, why do I got to feel like this today? It's like that. Um, for others, you is blocking your own progress. Okay. You are definitely in your own way. You are holding up your self. Stop blocking yourself. For others, in order to make your dream come true, you're going to have to wake up and take action, okay? Ain't no, let me go to sleep, let me dream all motherfucking week and try to make some shit happen. It don't work like that. You're going to have to wake your ass up and put the time and the effort and the energy into making your dreams become a reality. All right. Let's jump right in. Now, the situation for the next 24 hours. Okay. This situation is. It's like a person feeling some type of way in their feelings. Um, but it's more of taking your love back like I don't want to give my love to whatever the situation is um somebody has definitely fell back they not stepping up for nothing because I feel like they is offering something to somebody else but they moving slow they taking their time with offering something to somebody but in the situation they in right now it's like they don't want to be in this situation but at the same time they in two minds about it but they know the truth it's like they don't want to make a decision like they need to make a decision they need to stop being in denial about the situation and just go full force towards whoever they want to go towards because they know the truth they didn't got confirmation already. This is all dealing with a person cannot stop thinking about things. Like they mentally trapped. All right. They doing this on their own. Ain't nobody forcing them to think like this or can't stop thinking about a person. They putting their self in this mental prison. All right. What they thinking about is, first off, this person don't really know how to communicate. They really don't. It's like, they don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. It's like, if they do say it, it's like, okay, you got your facts all fucked up. Like, this story is really not making sense. It's like, where did you get your information from? It's like that. Like, this person can't stop thinking about somebody. They stalking them mentally. Somebody is getting stalked mentally, all right? If a motherfucker is all of a sudden popping up in your goddamn head and you can't stop thinking about a motherfucker, they fuck around and they, like, putting the energy towards you because they thinking about your ass so goddamn much that they asses is popping up in your motherfucking head, all right? Pay attention. Also, this person, it's like they really not coming towards you, though. They really not taking no action or they could be thinking like, you not going to stick around. Like, it's more of in and out, one night stand, like, just sex and that's it. 
but they they want to move forward with you they do they want to move forward with you it's just they can't stop thinking about this shit it's like instead of their asses taking action they more thinking about it um at this point they tired of thinking about it it's draining their energy that they thinking about this shit so much it's throwing things off all right they can't fucking sleep they can't they fuck around can't even enjoy life around this bitch because they mentally fucked up but they put themselves there it ain't like you put a gun to their motherfucking head and was like think about me 24 7 like i don't you know what i'm saying i don't think unless motherfuckers didn't put some type of <laughs> did some type of magic work around this bitch y'all better be careful about that shit all right you know that shit gonna come back on you now um it's two people here all right i don't know if this person this person could be involved with another person all right but can't stop thinking about you type shit now the person that they with it's like far as mental stimulation they both on the same page okay if they need to have a conversation they both can sit down and talk all right it's like Two lawyers, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, can have a sit down and have a fucking argument. It's like, it ain't no emotional attachment. It's more mental. Um. Also, it's like somebody, this person is very... Goals for what they want. Very goal-oriented. Goals for what they want, right? Very sexy, very attractive, okay? Very attractive. But somehow, this person may have a temper or it's like they just do things out of anger. Um, This person can have like a jealous streak about them. Um, Very territorial. Um, very, just crazy. All right. Crazy. Now, I feel like you, okay, that this person can't st- stop thinking about. Somehow your energy is making them happy. Like everything that they wanted, they see in you far as emotional like you you want the emotional support like you making them get over disappointment um like heartache and sadness like you making them come out of denial i feel like you got a special place in in their heart but they just can't stop thinking about you but i feel like you may work different like you more emotional and they more mental I feel like um, the two couples, the, the couples, right? The two lawyers, all right? The motherfuckers can have a debate all goddamn long. I feel like they was trying to manifest, trying to, like, make something happen with trying to balance something out. But it may not happen. with them too because i feel like somebody is going towards somebody else or you is coming towards this person it's like somebody is finna get some type of um karma with like somebody finna really come towards somebody and really show them like how to love or how to be loved if this is making sense, because it's like, it's a relationship here. And then it's like a marriage, but the marriage, the serious commitment, it's like no obsession, no attraction. No, it's like nothing. It's just like a, like a person together with a person and they really don't like them. It's like, they just there. And then you got 
this relationship here with two people who care for each other, who is like twin flame energy, soulmate, or whatever you want to call it. It's like competition somewhere, dealing with this person and then the person that they married. It's like a lot of drama, a lot of, um, this is causing a lot of like arguing, a lot of arguing. I hope this is making sense because this is all coming from two people really strongly connected to a, to each other, but also this is coming from taking a risk, like trying to start over. So I feel like this is coming from like two people linked up. They had a, they got a strong bond and it's like, they just, they try to take a risk somewhere, like trying to really push this forward, but somebody could be already caught up in like a marriage that they don't want to be in. And it's like, this person is like mentally can't stop thinking about you, but tired of thinking, you see what I'm saying? It's like, I got to do something. What's else? Uh, what's sitting on this foundation? Okay, it's like somebody is giving up. I feel like somebody don't want to be with a particular person no more. I feel like somebody is not there. It's like they can't. It's like somebody cannot come through for a person. Like if a person needed a motherfucker, it's like they can't make shit happen. Like they giving up. It's um. It's an offer here. Like, somebody is dropping all the stress. Like, they tired of carrying whatever this burden was. Like, they dropped it and they finna, like, offer an opportunity for somebody. Or it's still an opportunity here on this foundation dealing with you. Something that can go into long term. All right? Things came out on this foundation. Um, things may have came out about a person is in love with somebody else. Like, on some real shit. Somebody may care for somebody else. Like, somebody is, like, really emotionally happy somewhere. And that came out. Or somebody is just not lying to themselves no more, no more about how they feel. They not. Um, Things came out. I didn't even clarify that. Things have came out. Let's see. Things that came out. It was dealing with, like, just didn't know which way to go. Just lost. Lost. Um, things also came out about somebody offering something and they wasn't paying attention. I feel like now they realizing it. They was lost at first. Um, you looking at the situation like, okay... Something is about to change, like, for real, for real. This is finna change up a lot of shit. Like, this is finna, like, motherfuckers gonna have to start over. Somebody looking at it, like, they gonna have to start from scratch. <laughs> like, that's how they looking at the situation. Um, It's a lot of regrets, a lot of fears. A lot of anxiety. Just a lot of negative thinking. Um, fearing that the worst is over. Fearing that the worst is over. This is all leading to a person like becoming selfish. Pulling back because they listening to their higher self. This person, if they was loyal to a particular person, that's not finna be the case no more. Like they listen to their higher self. Like somebody may not want to be in not may not want to be with a particular person because they're not happy. They not happy. All right. Um, they may had a lot of hope and faith in it, but it was too much doubt. Too much doubt. They may have gave this a second chance. Um, like try to bring it back, but in reality, they not happy. It's like, why would you be somewhere where you're not happy? That's like settling. I don't give a fuck how much money a person got. I don't give a fuck how, like, I don't give a fuck how good it may look. 
But why would you settle if you like, why would you stay somewhere if you're not happy? It's like you're going to live the rest of your life miserable as hell. You see what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck finna do that? Just because you selling? This is all leading to a person moving on. Moving forward. Working together with a person. Putting effort in. Okay. This person is obsessed with you. Or whoever, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, they obsessed. Like, sexually, they really obsessed. Um, you just do something to this person. Like, you, like, make them hot. Like, it's a lot of passion. It's just, this is dangerous. That's what the fuck this is. This is some dangerous ass connection because this person is so obsessed, crazy, jealous, only want you and you only like, I don't know how you're going to be able to handle this. Like this person is obsessed Yeah. This this person's attraction for you is strong as hell. It's strong. It, it's a little bit too strong. You're going to have to set up boundaries with this person because... This person is too... Sh- wrong like they too obsessed that's too much obsession and you know obsession can lead to some other shit so be careful all right like somebody may really they may be more in they be they may be more than in love with your ass all right so be careful man be careful, because this look like some shit where if I can't have you, nobody can. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense. If you'd like to tip heaven, I truly appreciate y'all. Send from heaven, 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.